Hello and hello. Hello. Hello, my friend, Cupcake Gemma. Welcome to my tiny kitchen. That was a bit awkward, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't do that. I feel like there's some kind of Mexican garden theme going yes. on. Yes. Succulents. Succulent, Succulent cakes. Succulents. Yes. Now, they're very on trend, aren't they, I think? They are, they're very trendy. Um, so I thought maybe we could make our own little bowl each and mm. just have some fun with it. So we've both got our own cakes. Yeah, we do. And um, hopefully I've we'll have some space. Yeah. I baked those in, like, a um, mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. Just trim the top down, so this is quite a big really knife, heck. isn't it? Yeah. It's a big knife. Which one do you want? <laughs> I don't know. One's really small this, and one's really maybe large. You can have, you're the taller, taller, you can have the big one. Can see you've done that before, look at your spinning. Can, have I though? Now, we're going to split it. When I used to work in my bakery, I had, I used to work, I, you bought this story. And you know when you split and fill a layer cake, yeah. and then you kind of get all your layers, and then you go to put it back together. If you haven't got a level, it can be a bit sort of wonky. Yeah. So what I do first is just do a little nick in the side, because that's going to show me where to put it back together, you see. Oh my God. Did that you not is know actually that? really clever. Right, so we're going halfsies. Yeah, just half. Ish. So yeah. Oh, that is so clever. She is right. I've got some buttercream down here. Ooh, for us both. Jerseys. This is just 500 grams of butter and one kilogram of icing sugar. But you do it differently, do you? Yeah, I do it slightly differently. Oh. So I do. So I work on a 100 gram butter, 225 icing sugar, and then work my way up depending on how much I need. Oh, do and you? And then I, I always use milk. Oh, I have a see. very good masterclass for you. Oh, do time. you? I wonder where I can find that. <laughs> no. Also, it is quite cold in here. And Juliet, there's another good tip. If your icing sugar is seized up, whack it in the microwave for like five seconds and it will loosen up again. Yeah. And that was really handy because it is freezing. It's so. blooming freezing, yeah. Sandwich our thing back, obviously using our special guide. Crumb coat all the way across. Do you use like a buttercream to stick your sugar paste or do you use jam? We actually use, um, as crumbs and jollies, we use ganache. Oh! We use uh, white chocolate ganache for sugar pasting. If you're doing like a fruit cake, I suppose. What yeah, do then you use jam. Jam and uh, then marzipan. But I think fruit cake's a completely different yeah. animal, isn't it, altogether, really? It is. I've never actually made a fruit cake. <laughs> Stop it. I was a really fussy kid, so I would never want to eat one. Looking good. Now we've got our cakes all buttercreamed, we can um, put our marzipan on. So just pop our cakes to one side for the minute. Here it is. So I used a bit of. Um, like a little bit of um, paprika flesh and a bit of dark brown just to kind of mm. like make that terracotta colour. Do you fancy oh, doing that colour? It's bright like terracotta. It that. does, doesn't it? It's just like terracotta. <laughs> we'll colour, get colouring. So we're going to knead in. I'm going to get so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Tell you don't. Just give it a good old knead oh. on, on the surface. Table on the um, Grab some of the colours. Get paprika. Get paprika flesh. And dark brown. And, yeah. So I'm probably going to put about that much in mine. Well, I'm going to do that That's too paprika. because I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to look stupid on camera. Oh my god, it's cupcake Gemma. Did you see how little paprika she put in her? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've already broken the seal, so yeah. it's like a hand start game. Just keep sausaging it like this. And sometimes I kind of like twist it. And that's how I do my colouring. Do you call this sausaging? Sausaging, yeah. Sausaging. Sausaging. <laughs> we, could, we could cut this bit and then um, <laughs> we can say, Lola, can you come and help? Right, okay, so we're going to roll out our marzipan. So we need a little bit of icing sugar each. Mm -hmm. What's this like, bowl? It's I know. got a straw in it. <laughs> From a height, it makes you look more professional, you see. There's a situation here where we've got like a massive one. I know. They yeah. kind of look like they should go in the dark a little bit. Something for your product range. Oh, glow in the dark cupcake to everyone. Yeah, there you, there you go. Oh, that reminds me, I've got a present for you. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't judge my marbled um, terracotta thing where I didn't need it in properly. Yours looks much better than mine. Nice. There's your one. So just lay your marzipan over, mm -hmm. but kind of like we want to keep the excess. So just smooth it all over. I love a smooth. Yeah, it's quite satisfying. It is. Cut my excess off like this. Where's all my knives gone? And just lift it and turn it over. And okay. place it on there like that. Oh, sort of overturn. That's it. And um, <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> kitchen kitchen roll. I'm going to put a little bit of royal icing just round the top edge. So we've both right. got a royal icing bag over there. Thank you. So you're not a twister. No. So all we need to do is just put a little bit of royal icing around the top edge. Have you done it already? Well, I just used my finger. I was just like oh. splashing it on. I love this. It's my favourite. <laughs> it's one of my favourite tools. You might need one of these, <laughs> again. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's all wiggly. Well, no, because um, it, the edges are straight. Like a cinnamon roll. Yeah. That's it. This is wonderful. It's, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Place it up here, so just 
proud of the edge. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a cocktail stick in because I want it just to hold it in place while I'm sort of like going around. At the end, once we've done this, we can just um, use a little bit of the excess and plug the holes. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so it just kind of helps it to stay neat, really. If you kind of go over where you started and then you cut all the way through both pieces, in effect, that should give you a neat join. It looks just like a real one. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's going to be the, time, the fun bit for us to fill in all our succulents. Succulent? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the bus cream. So we don't need a lot. And then we've got some biscuit sand. So these are just like sugar cookies that we made and baked. And we just put them in the old food processor. You made processor. them and baked them? Yeah. She's <laughs> crazy. I would have just bought those guys. <laughs> I think my terracotta lip is a little bit short. A little bit low. I'm going to put some of my biscuity sand on there. Or Oreo crumbs would be quite nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Speckle. We do lots of stuff with Oreos. We do Oreo Rocky Road, we do Oreo cheesecake. Nice. We do cream cake. Once we've got our succulents done and chilled, we can bring them back and do make our little creation. Bring this pot to life. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then he dropped it. So we're going to use these little flower nails. Ooh. We've got a few different nozzles that we're just going to experiment with, I think. I can't wait. Just I to love make a some nozzle. different. So we've got some green, darker green. Mm, that's really nice. That's quite a nice one. This lovely, very succulency. Very succulency. You know when you do the leaf piping, but you don't have a leaf nozzle. Yeah. So I just cut a V mm. out of this like this. Sort of one. Getting a little bit of that on there. Stick it on the nail, mm -hmm. giving a bit of a kind of structure in the middle like this, kind of just going round and round. Yeah. Using the V this way, just kind of like doing a few. Yeah. Big green lump really. <laughs> Put them all in the fridge and then we can handle them. Have you got any one you would like to do? Yes. Can I see? <laughs> This little guy, which yeah. is an open star nozzle. The bulk of the colour in this one is eucalyptus. Um, you use sugar flare, don't you? I use sugar flare as well. Generally, nice yeah. Base. Just kind of generously pipe, but try and keep it. Oh, it's cute. Getting taller and taller. Oh, it's pretty really cute. Afterwards, we can put some detail on this, like little flowers and little prickles and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Look at the really little cute. guys! Kind of like a half moony one. With a wiggle on um, the edge. It's got a wiggle on the edge. Oh, look. Oh, there you go. There you go. Is that what you did? You left handed? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> did a bit of a base first and then just kind of pipe and just kind of pull them out that way. Yeah. Very cool. It's quite cute. You get quite a lot of succulents that are kind of. Ashy, getting a blob of that on, then just stripe it down the inside of my piping bag, just on one side. It's like seeing you get your buttercream out. I Look. like to tease it out. I'm gonna wiggle it in. Yeah. Gently. Sometimes it can take a little there. Just do the same thing that you did, basically, but because it's Ooh, got the two nice. different colours, it just adds a little bit of depth. Oh, look at that. Lovely. If you want to do something a bit bigger, a bit more structure, you know what I'm like with my Rice Krispie treat. Oh. I've got a rough shape there, but this is quite fun. It's quite satisfying. It is very satisfying. Oh, it's perfect because it's wiggly. And yeah. It's... So quite cute. It looks just like a cactus. It does. <laughs> so these are the ones we made earlier. These are probably a bit soft. Aren't They're a bit they? soft, but I reckon we can be careful with a palette knife and lift off if we want to. All right. Um, and we've also got these ones, which are kind of chilled in the fridge. Oh, look, we've got all these over here. Plop them on there. I'll put some more little white dots on. Oh, I like the flowers. Yeah. That's really cute. That's brilliant. Oh, you might fall over. I don't think it will. That's really good. You've got a nice big fatty there with a, a, with a fairly fatty, small that. nozzle. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> happy with that? I'm happy with that. Well, thank you so much for coming in my kitchen. Oh, thanks for having me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I, I did. I really did. And I hope you all enjoyed watching and hope you're going to enjoy recreating your succulent cake. You've got to be careful when you say succulent. <laughs> Everything you need to make this cake is all down there. And if you like the video, please subscribe and we'll be back soon for more vids. Bye.
Bye. <laughs>